Yeah. Whoa. Our root came today. We funded this on Kickstarter, but it is available on Amazon too. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> what do we do first? Oh, this tells us all the parts of our robot. So that's the front. These are called the bumpers. So They're probably used for bumping. And look, this is called the nose. That's the yellow part, this is the nose. And that's used to turn it on. And what else we got? This says it's the eyes. And that's its light sensor. So that knows if it's daytime or nighttime. And then this is the marker holder. Look, so you put the marker in there if you have it in drawing mode. It says we need to download the root coding app on our iPad or iPhone if we want to teach it how to color. I do, I do. I do, I do. Uh, it uses USB-C, so it's the same as the Nintendo Switch it's and all our Samsung devices. It's so they have different levels of programming. So you start with simple scratch, and then complicated scratch, and then if you get really good, then you can write normal code for it. Whoa! Hey, it Daddy! It says build in complexity Daddy. as you progress through Daddy. coding levels. Ooh. Oh, which one do we want to do? This one. Okay. Explore. Yeah. What does it say? Whoa, that means we can get pro download projects from the internet. So if other people have made projects, we can download them. What about learn? Oh yeah, let's learn. Why is learn not working? Magic. <laughs> oh, you want Whoa. this? The first one is the controls. Oh, okay. It says set up the root. Oh. Oh, there's an update. It will take several minutes. Okay, send your update to your robot. Update. Oh. Uh -uh. Look at its blinking uh -oh. update colors. Uh -oh. Oh, it's updating. <laughs> oh. This might take a while. Okay, we'll be back. actually got to see the rocket launch in real life in person when uh, when this was launched into into spring on the app because it'll probably teach us what to do with those things. Do you think we should experiment or follow the learning section? Let's follow the learning section. Uh, you're too much like your mommy. You like to read the instructions. I want to experiment. And let's name it names. Names? Names the robot? Name it! That's his music. Whoa. You made it your music, dude! Alright, put it in you. Put it anywhere on the whiteboard. Where do you think it should go? Maybe here? Maybe here. You think there because that's where the rocket ship is? Okay. Is this a satellite? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my favorite kind of blue. Okay, I say put it here. Hey, put it down flat. Yeah. And after that, it said the Roomba goes there, and then this has it's not a, a Roomba. Star. His name is Root. Wait. Root. I think we probably should have this is a Roomba. First mission: get the Root to the red rocket. I might guess this oh. one. You turned him. Oh. So oh, I do. is the iPad just like a big remote control right oh. now? Oh, he turned it. No, no. Oh, there you go. Turn right, turn left, and forward. Yeah. Okay. Well, how do you get to the red rocket? What's the next project? Um, I think you go this way. Okay, do it. Press this button. Marky, push it. Oh, Marky made a turn. He's Let's rotated. Press, uh, press this button twice. Huh? Do it twice. Yeah. One. Two. Now I do the final two steps. Oh, there's only two steps left. 
What this are they? This remind me a lot of freshman computer science class playing oh. the turtle. Hey, wait! He knew that he made it to the red rocket. Fit for step on a bunch of times. Oh, three times. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Oh, too many, too many. Oh, now he's kind of. Yeah, Morgan kept interrupting him. There he goes. Oh. We'll we'll reset him to make him know where he, he is again. Yeah, he's, he's supposed to move one grid every time you push the forward button. <laughs> You found the star. I'm the best at it. <laughs> I love this. What's this one? Oh, now we're into programming. Pops are down there. Well, follow the instructions because it said do the light oh, block. Oh, is that a mission? So do the light block. But it says we, whoa, we do this. Oh, good job. What's the next project? Oh, it says press play to run your project. We turn the lights on. <laughs> Press stop to end your project. Oh. The lights went off. Yep, but now. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next project. Hold the robot to get I want to press a button. Mm -hmm. Can you push to the home. Okay. Oh. Okay, so oh. we're on number one and we need to get it to number three. What are we press home? Right, oh, so Morgan got to home. What's the next? <laughs> what does it have to do? Turn. Go forward. Turn. We're almost there. Well, what's next? Put it back on the play icon. Okay. What does it have to do? Put back on the play icon. We get Adam move forward. Okay, one move forward. All right, let's try. It worked. Click the lock. What's it say? Oh, it says we have to go sign up on the website so that we can get the rest of the projects. Oh, they just teased us. So we joined the membership. It's $5 a month. The first month is free. Um, this is all subject to change. It's a brand new robot. It's a brand new program. Uh, they did survey the people that participated in the Kickstarter about the price point, uh, um, how much people would be willing to pay if they were interested in it. And so what that membership gets you is it gets you a little bit more in the learning path. And then it also gives you the ability to share and download the things that other people have done. It's actually been a really long time we've been waiting on this. I want to say two years. And part of the delay was because they wanted to make sure that it could handle young kids grabbing at it, pulling it back. It's a pretty robust little uh, little robot, and it it's really cute. Uh, the little eyes moving just kind of make it look more like kind of animal like. It's kind of it's it's designed to be a friend. Um, it's just it's really it's really cute. It has eyes and a nose. <laughs> And so my kids are pretty excited about it. But now that we paid, there's a few more things that we could do. Let's do this. You ready? You, yeah. You really want to play, huh? I hope this little review demonstration has been helpful if you're considering teaching your kids how to code. Uh, both myself and my husband are software developers, but it does not take a knowledge of programming or software engineering to figure out this cute little children's educational resource. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>